So in this video you will learn how you can add uh, arms to your first person character. So let's just start work on it. So I will provide you this zip file okay which is download this file the name of it just download this file and then extract it right click on it and simply extract it when you extract it you will get this folder which is by the name download this file when you open it you will see these four files inside it animations characters effects sounds just copy all these four okay select these copy it when you copy it go back to your unreal project unreal engine project and content drawer now in here we have our fps blueprints right click on this folder and simply click on show in explorer just like this and then here you will see this content just click on that content and right click in here and simply paste here okay all our four files which are animation character effects and sounds which i provided to you okay so paste that inside here just like this so simple and so easy then close this so in here if i show you where we have our character this one hero fpp so these arms we are going to attach to our first person character so as you can see there is no material apply on it in order to make it beautiful we will apply we will apply material for our mesh so let's just do that so for that purpose so in here uh, characters okay that is inside the characters folder we have materials inside the materials and right click in here and we are going to create a new material and let's name this as material underscore FPS underscore arm material FPS arm so let's open this double click on it drag that here to see the full view of it so let's go back here and inside the content drawer we have texture so these are basically the texture and you can select any texture which you want to apply on those arms okay on those material arm so for example I will proceed with this one okay which is FPSM CHR FPSM so make sure to select this okay select any material here so I select this one select this material okay when it is selected then go to the material FPS arm then in here right click here and simply search for texture sample which is this one texture sample and you see that that one is that one we selected okay that one we selected that's why automatically it is assigned here however let's say if you forgot to select any texture from here then of course you can do that manually here uh, that is first click this texture sample and from here you can assign any texture you want okay so any texture you want you can assign it from here uh, as well okay so anyways so this RGB we will assign this to the base color of material FPS arm and let's add another texture let's select this one okay and go to the material FPS arm let's right click here inside this graph and simply search for texture sample So you can see on this one the selected one is applied as you can see okay this one was selected and you can see that and let's say if you want to choose it uh, to change it you can just select this texture sample and you can uh, change it to any texture you want here okay just select that one from here 
so this texture RGB will be assigned to the normal material FPS arm like this as you can see now let's add another texture let's proceed with this one select this one and go to the material FPS arm right click here you can select texture sample so the selected one is applied on it and this RGB this one we will apply on the metallic material FPS arm like this okay so let's make it look good so that we can see it easily and understand it easily okay now we want to create a constant for the roughness so inside this graph if you hold the one button okay one button on your keyboard and click then it will create this constant let me tell you again let me delete this let me tell you inside this graph hold the button one on your keyboard and press your mouse button okay hold the one button on your keyboard and press the mouse button here the left button on your mouse press it so it will create this constant and let's set the value for this constant as 0 0.26 okay so this one we will assign that is drag this towards the roughness as you can see it will look like this that is this will be applied on the FPS character arms this texture you can see this material okay as you can see it will look like this very beautiful so now you can simply click on this save in order to save all these changes which we have done till now for creating this material and apply texture on it now let's close this material and now if we go back here content drawer and our character which is hero fpp these arms hero fpp okay so we are going to apply our material which we just created which is basically let me show you which is our this material okay which is our this material we have to apply this material FPS arm on these arms so all you need is you have to just click on this asset details and inside the assets details you see this hero TPP here you have to search for that material which we created which is by the name material underscore FPS arm this one just select that and it is applied on these arms you can see that so it looks so cool I can show you so in this way you can create a material inside Unreal Engine and apply it to your uh, any object for example uh, we applied it on the FPS character arms so anyways now you have to just click on this save okay so as it is saved now we can close this hero FPP let's also close the other ones so now we can go back to our blueprints which is FPS blueprints okay my FPS character double click on it open it up and we need to go to the viewport and now let's add a component which is camera okay so camera and the position for the camera uh, let's change this to 75 okay here as you know this is our first person uh, character view okay how he is moving around and you know playing around in the environment so anyways 
change this to 75 and this use spawn control rotation this one check this now move this camera below this mesh okay so arrow then we have mesh and then we have camera now select this camera and add a new component which will be skeletal mesh inside the camera we have skeletal mesh remember this skeletal mesh is inside the camera which means it is a child of this camera and we can rename this let's give it a proper name so this is our skeleton mesh FPS skeleton mesh arms so this FPS skeleton mesh arm is basically the arms which we want to attach so we can just uh, click here and simply search here for that which is by the name hero FPP this one hero FPP okay this one okay so just assign it from here just search for hero FPP and it will appear here and just select that and it will appear here as you can see that so it is now assigned to FPS skeleton mesh arms now we have to set the location for it so here just make sure to select this okay FPS skeleton mesh arm select that and the location for this will be minus 10.0 minus 150.0 this is the location and then for the rotation it will be minus 90.0 and then comes the scale so it will be 1.0 1.0 1.0 0, yeah that's it so this is how it is looks now okay so that is cool let me show you okay so anyways make sure to set these values like this okay so it is now with the camera okay then animation mode use animation asset and simply search for rifle M this one FPP rifle M animation okay like the player is holding a rifle so FPP rifle M now these are the animations uh, which I already provided you guys okay which we have added as an assets in our this project I hope you remember that that is animation character all these things okay sounds and all these things so anyways one important thing is this is basically when the user that is the player character is holding a rifle okay so that animation will be played at that time at the start uh, we want the idle position so we will just change this to another animation which will be rifle idle this one FPP rifle idle okay which is like this so now let's just compile and save and now let's play the game to see how it looks so here you can see that the hand of our FPS character as you can see that when we will uh, attach the rifle then it will looks cool okay that is then it will look more good now you see one thing here is that you see this shadow of this arm okay so we have to basically remove this shadow from it so for that purpose go back to FPS character inside the my FPS character self select this and from here just 
inside the my fps character self okay i want to just make sure that you do not get distracted so inside this search simply search for pawn p a w n and use controller rotation yaw just remove the checked from it okay uncheck it and then in the fps skeleton mesh arms you have to simply search for we are going to search for shadow so you can see this cast shadow just uncheck this so it will remove the shadow simply click on compile and then click save so now if we come back and we test the gam run the gam so you can see that now the shadow is removed and we can move as you can see and the player arm is moving in the direction where we are moving as you can see 